An unexpected thing happened at this event that I attended a few days ago. So if you remember my friend Arjen with whom I worked on this electric wheelhole prototype, he invited me over to his place for a market gardening demo day that was organized at his farm in the south of Germany. It was quite a long ride, but very well worth it because Arjen and I got to spend the whole morning to talk about all the details of the design. So you were not intending to do this today, right? Um, because of the soil is too wet? Exactly, yeah, I wouldn't do it today. So we went out into the fields and were just testing this prototype and having basically a brainstorming session that lasted for about six hours where we exchanged all the ideas and how to make the prototype work better. We dove into the little nitty gritty details of the whole thing and had some seriously fruitful conversations. Just as we decided to add in a lot of different features such as a second wheel and more functions, and by the way, this is something that has a name, it's, it's called a feature creep. It's a, basically a trap that a lot of makers and engineers tend to fall into because we start thinking, oh, if we just add this and if we just add that, we'll have uh, so much more functions. And this is something that's not always the best strategy. So just as we started complicating things, we started adding a lot of features. We were approached by a group of younger market gardeners who said that the prototype is perfect just as it is and that we should make it available for them. Now, I really think that there are lots of issues that Arjen and I found out, and we discovered that it, it, it needed to be fixed, but we decided to accept the feedback that we got from the group of people who might be using this machine in their daily work someday. So we decided to keep it simple and stay true to the original idea, and that is to have an agile tool that will be easy to operate in a small to medium-sized market garden. So as soon as I got back, I dove into the design, and this is what I've come up with so far.